just want to take some uh, liberty today since, uh, you know, every day is kind of like we never are on schedule or on topic, but I want to take uh, just a moment to, uh, to, uh, for us to celebrate with uh, Erica's mom and dad. They'll be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary coming up this uh, December for Bill and Myrna, and I just want to take a, a moment to pray for you guys and just to, uh, uh, just to celebrate with you guys, just... Uh, your, your life together. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of, gift of marriage, of, uh, of family. We want to lift up Bill and Myrna today, that uh, your servants who've, who've kept their family in, in prayer, who've raised them, who've led them to Christ and held them close to you. We want to celebrate with them all their lives together in sickness and in health and all that you laid before them. And continue to be with them as they celebrate this December when their family comes together and that they may share a long and blessed life together. We give you thanks today, gracious God, for the gift of family. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us uh, congratulate uh, Bill and Myrna today. This is going to be the fastest Reformation ser- sermon you ever heard in your life, but we can do it here because I know we're good. Okay, here we go. Uh, Luther, uh, 500th year is coming up, uh, 2017, so buy your tickets now. That's going to be a sellout in Germany. This is the door. This is the door that started it all. And it's interesting because God chooses these little places, these little places like Bethlehem, these little places like Wittenberg to change the world. And it's the little tiny things that are really the most important in our lives, aren't they? Well, let me ask you this. Do we really understand that salvation is by grace and grace alone? Do we really get that after almost 500 years? Let's take a shot at it here. Anybody been to Graceland? Anybody been to Graceland? A couple? You? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, out of you guys who've been to Graceland, who's been upstairs? Nobody gets to go upstairs to Graceland. You get to go downstairs, you get to see, you know, kind of a staged living room. I don't know if Elvis ever sat on these couches, did he? Did they say, I, it looks too new. I don't think Elvis ever sat on these couches. And this is kind of what you'd expect his living room kind of to be like a guitar and those kind of things. But here's the deal, at Graceland, Nobody gets to go upstairs. Well, I shouldn't say that. Nobody. You know who gets to go upstairs? Family. Priscilla, Lisa Marie. You've got to be family to get to the real Graceland to go upstairs. I'll tell you one other person who's been up there. Nicholas Cage, because he married. Lisa Marie. President Clinton tried to go up there. They wouldn't let him go up. Nobody gets to go upstairs. You've got to be family. And that's what Graceland is, and that's what heaven is for us. Nobody gets to go to heaven. You've got to be family. Because that is Graceland, isn't it? Heaven's Graceland for us. And you don't get to go there unless you're family. And that's what God invites us to, to be his family, to get into Graceland. Because we can't earn our way there, as Tracy was saying. It's only family that gets to go behind these ropes. And we become family because Christ made us family. We celebrate that in baptism because, as one uh, little boy was saying in Sunday school, they were asking, well, how do you get to go to heaven? Do you get to go to heaven because you're good in Sunday school? Nope. Do you get to go to heaven because you do all your homework? Nope. Do you get to go to heaven because you're good and do your chores? Nope. Do you get to go to heaven because you go to Sunday school? Nope. Well, how do you get to heaven? Little boy says, you got to be dead. Exactly right. And how are we dead in baptism? Because in baptism, that's our door to heaven. We die in baptism and are raised to new life in Christ. So that's your ticket to Graceland. It's through our baptism. It's through our death in Christ, and he raises us in the waters of the resurrection. That's Reformation. 
That's Graceland for us. We get to go up the ropes because we're family. And that's all Luther was trying to say. You can't earn it through indulgences. You can't earn it through special anything by the Pope or the church. We're family. We get to go to Graceland upstairs. Let us continue our service in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.